tons of fun coming up. What's up everybody? Welcome to the life of a board gamer. My name is Daniel and let us talk about the game that provided the most fun for me in 2022 and it is a game called Wandering Towers. Now I know it's 2023, I, I know I, I didn't say anything wrongly, but that's the game, the, this game I played in 2022 and I'm just now reviewing it, uh, I'm still playing it of course. Uh, so yeah, Wandering Towers is absolutely bonkers, phenomenal game. I haven't expected anything from it, it just looks fun, it, the, the premise of it sounds interesting, you are moving towers, you are trapping other wizards, you are collecting their tears in your little flasks and making potions and whoever brews all the potions depending on the number of the players of course and who manages to reach the raven tower with all of their wizards is proclaimed the winner and all, all of that is done by just playing two cards and this game provides so much fun it is just insanely good game i think this is like the perfect game to introduce people to board games. The rules are super easy, rules are super, sim super simple to explain and the amount of fun that people have because when you're playing this game basically you are playing two cards on your turn and uh, you either choose to move either one of your wizards or one stack of the towers. Now the, the towers will start separately from one another uh, like in a line but when you move them you can decide to move any number of them on the same space to some other space depending how far they are moving so they can move one space two space three space you can play some potions that let you move more or less on a turn depending uh, what you want to do in this game so when you move these guys uh, you can also move the towers so you trap other wizards and uh, that's where the memory part of the games comes in into play now you have to memorize if your wizards uh, are accidentally or, or on purpose trapped with uh, towers you need to uh, memorize on which floor of the towers they are because you can of course free them in the future turns but if you like make a, a wrong move and you like pick up the towers and they are not underneath there there may be one floor up or down then you can't go back you have to move that stack uh, whatever card you played and that's where the hilariousness of the game shows up. It is so much fun because at one point people are playing cards. The, the turns are pretty fast. Even though you are in this game shines in six players. I need, to, I need to say that before anything else. This game shines when it's played in a maximum capacity and that is six players. Now the turns go really fast. You play two cards, you do your thing and you are done. Next player. And everything happens so fast that at one point you most definitely lose the track of your little wizards, of your little meeples, and you have no clue where they are. They are somewhere stacked in the towers and you are trying to rescue them. And it happens more than often that you rescue other players' meeples, wizards, however you want to call them, That's what, which is most unfortunate. Of course, there are some potions there. You are, of course, collecting potions. That's the main ingredient of the game, uh, main thing of the game. But there are also like you can use the potions that you already, already collected to activate some special abilities. So you can mess up a little bit with the players now. You can use them. You don't have to use them. It's really up to you how you want to play this game. It is really, you can modulate it to your liking. If you're playing maybe with kids, you don't want to like have these things that can backtrack your mess up your plan. You know, kids can't handle stuff like that usually. But if you are playing with adults, you can mess up with other players pretty much every turn if you choose to do so. And it is pretty fun. So yeah, Wandering Towers. It's super simple game. Just play the card, move the tower, move the wizard, whatever you do. And try to, to jump into the... Uh, the, this raven castle and collect all the potions uh, before you do that and you are golden so super easy rules super easy game and yet it is so much fun and it provided with so much laughs i still have to see me or anyone else playing this game and not having fun even though it can be a little bit mean but as i said it lasts for like 20 minutes the box says 30 minutes i think in six players we kind of finish it in 20 25 minutes it's super fast game, super easy to learn, super easy to understand and so much fun. You definitely need to check it out. Check out Wandering Towers. You will not be disappointed. And uh, yeah, that is that. Thank you all for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for spending time with me. Thank you for all your support. 
definitely join me next time when we are going to review something else. I don't know what. And uh, until then, pause it up. <coughs> now, when I first play. <coughs> <coughs> And the uh, I want to, uh, it's 2023, I know, and uh, but uh, stupid, everybody knows. <laughs>